Yo, yo, yo. What up, though? What up, though? Happy Monday to everybody. Happy, happy, happy Monday. Don't forget, when you enter in the building, you smack that thumbs up. Don't forget it. What is good? What is good? We're going to get this party started. Because the brother a little tired. <laughs> tired, boss. Tired. What is good? What is good? What is good? A few things I'm looking at this weekend. I already got it down. What up, though? What's good, Rose Kristen? What up, though, Jolly Jolly? What up, though? What is good? What is good? Thank you all for tuning in for another one. For another one. What is good? Big salute to y'all. Also, big salute to everybody who got their consultation. I know y'all doing well or y'all should be doing good. All right. Fairly easy once I teach you. But what is up? What is up? What's up? What's up? Don't forget to smack that thumbs up. Running a little bit behind. Just a little bit. Ah, what's up, John? Yeah. So definitely. What's up, Christian? What's up, said? Looks like Cube 3 has been found out in coding and updates. All right, I'll have to check on that. I kind of mentioned last week, I noticed... uh, uh, if we're talking about the Amazon, you're talking about uh, Amazon, you got to email me, John. I don't know if you emailed me today, but let me do this right here. For anybody that need a consultation, you need to send an email right there. And then just, you know, for the subject, just put consultation. I do my consultations on the weekend because I, you know, I work on, you know, Monday through Friday. So I get up early uh, Saturday and I do my consultations. Every now and then, depending on the time, I can do it like in during the week, the weekdays, and sometimes, not many times, but sometimes I can perform um, like on a Sunday. But a lot of times I am very, very busy and I will be busy. Um, just so y'all know, football season, is starting back up um, high school football. And many of y'all know my, my boys, uh, they play football. So I will be missing on Fridays, but I, I promise I'll make it up to y'all somehow. Maybe I have to do a show like on a Thursday or maybe just, I don't know about Saturday. It just depends on the consultation. But I, I'll let y'all know. I will let y'all know. But in a couple more weeks, High school football will be starting up, and, you know, I ain't going to be able to do these Friday shows, all right? So just that you know. And, again, the consultation is right there. Yep. So it is right there. So he said, yeah, the, the Cube 3. Let me see what you're talking about. Let me see what you're talking about, Christian. Let me see. I just got home. I ain't heard anything, all right? You said the cube three. Uh, Amazon. Nah, I don't see anything. Hold up. I don't see anything as of yet. Let me see. I don't see anything, any discussions on the cube yet. So. I don't know. I have to do some more um, research on that. I haven't heard it yet. So, also, um, let me give a big shout out to LJ, aka Show Enough. Today is his birthday. Big salute. Big salute. I haven't been in the background chats because, like I said, it's just been a busy, busy day. So, happy birthday to Show Enough TV, LJ. I don't know if he may be gone out to dinner. I don't know yet. Or he could be just in the background, you know, um, watching. Uh, so happy birthday, LJ, a.k.a. Show Enough TV. So 
Salute to him. All right. But what is up? Again, don't forget to smack that thumbs up. Um, a couple of things we're gonna have to talk about. Let me do this right quick. Let me get rid of that. And um, a few um videos that I released yesterday. So just in case um y'all did not see that, let me share that with you right now. So I did share a couple of uh videos. What is how to stream your movie collection from a PC, all right, from a PC to any Android device? Hopefully, y'all saw that. Very, very easy to do. Um, it's just another way, um, just in case it's not in your budget, all right? It, this may not be in your budget. And so, again, you know, I did this video right here, um, and... It, this may be your only way. I do have another ideal as well. Um, and then I'm going I'm to talk about that. Um, I'm going to do a dedicated video on that. Because a lot of times, we, a lot of us, we, we just don't have the funds to go out here and get NVIDIA Shields or Zadu devices. You know, but at least if you have a PC, guys, you can still enjoy it using whether you use the the Nova um, video player app VLC, which I don't care too much for, or if you have an Apple, you know, um, TV 4K, you could take what's on your um, PC and add it to your uh, bring your collection up as well. <coughs> Excuse me, man. Dang. I don't know why when I get on this mic. Sorry about that. Man, get on the mic and voice be trying to go hoarse and everything. Um, but again, uh, this is a, a just another, another video um, actually showing you how to uh, connect, you know, set up your PC. So hopefully y'all saw that. If you haven't saw it, the video got released last night. Check it out for anybody who wants to display that. And this may be a better option for a lot of individuals. Um, this may be just a better, better solution. And also, a lot of people have PCs and laptops. And uh, once I, I did find out, you know, um, it never went out. You know how some computers go to sleep and all of that, and then when they go to sleep, you lose everything. Um, well, at least on my my PC, um, I didn't lose anything. You know, um, even when it went to sleep, I was still able to connect to it upstairs um, on my Chromebook, on my other Zadu device. I was just still able to connect to it. So. Um, very, very nice. I hope y'all use this to your advantage. It's just another way that we can actually start our movie collection or library and actually share it amongst our, um, home network. It's all type of ways. There are all type of, um, options out there. And I just, I, I know that people, um, you know, we, we're strapped for money, you know, and everybody would love to just enjoy um, their movie library. Really, if you go through me, if you go through the consultation and you allow me to um, teach you how to get the content, um, you know, it, you're just going to take your game to another level. All right. So that was that right there. That was um, how to stream your movie collection from a Windows PC to any Android device, including them little cheap ones, all right? So I talk about that, and it's only 11 minutes and 36 seconds. So you should be able to get everything up and going, you know, in a matter of like 15 or 20 minutes, depending on how much content you have on your external hard drive, all right? Also, guys, I have another one that I actually released. Um, this one right here, because I, I got a um, 
I did get a message from a young lady. Um, who I, I'm assuming she watched my videos. It was on the Walmart on devices. And she said, hey, Dale. And a matter of fact, the email came through while I was in the background with the team. And she said, hey, uh, I lost my Walmart on remote control. What can I get? Now, there's always solutions out there. Of course, you could get what an OTG. You can always get an OTG cable, and then you could just get you a wireless keyboard and mouse, something like this, and you can go from there. All right. But you can also get an application that will set up your device. So if you looking, if you ever so this go for anyone that's selling any devices with Android TV OS. I'm not talking Google TV. I haven't gotten into that yet. I do know Google TV has some 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 things in the background, but I'm stricken I'm I'm sticking strictly to Android TV OS because there are more Android TV OS devices out there than Google TV. Android TV OS has been around for a while. We don't want to even take it down that memory lane, but since they got this upgrade feature, they have been around a while. And a lot of us have the Android TV OS operating system in their house. Whether you're using a television, a lot of us got NVIDIA Shields, a lot of us got TiVos, and now a lot of us have the Walmart on devices in our home so that is like the go-to you know you don't hear too many people saying hey man i'm going to my chromecast with google tv you don't hear that because of the price point and all of that so you just have to just know whether there's the most popular um launcher out there right now now before anybody try to educate me i know i said it plenty of times I know what Google TV is. Google TV is Android TV OS. It just has a little updated user interface. So I don't need nobody saying, no deal. You know Google TV is Android TV. Yes, I do know. I've been doing this a long time. But just know that a lot of people use the Android TV OS the one that displays on the NVIDIA Shield. A lot of people know about that, all right? So this is a great, great little application. I don't think you need to pay to remove the ads, but the ads are vicious on here. I'm going to say, like, you get an ad, like, every one to two minutes, and when you think you're hitting something, you look at your, your device, your tablet, or your phone, and you see an ad right there, and you got to close it out and just to go to it. And things like that. So I discuss all of that inside of the video. So hopefully you go to that. Or if one of your clients, one of your customers, you the dog ate the remote, you can direct them and be like, oh, you know what? They all said there was a hold up. Let me let me get the information. Let me tell you what to do. And go from there. Really, if you sell any device with Android TV OS. All right. So I do want to go there. The reason why, you know, it, it's crazy because you have to, like, it is, it's a lot of things that I know about these devices that I haven't even put forward. Um, I just, I, it, it's just no need, you know. Like, we don't talk about Google TV because I, it, really nobody talking about Google TV, you know. Um there's not too many devices out there um, that's running it, you know, where you can, oh, I'm going to get that Chromecast with Google TV. Not too many people going to use it. Even though I think it's a great device, I just think that they need to put it on sale more if, you know, if <laughs> they want to be in the game. You know, other than that, you know, Fire Sticks, you know, the Amazon devices, you're going to have – some of the lower end devices that are going to sell more. All right. That's just how it is. I, I just think that is, you know, um, Google TV 
if you if you've been following me, you know that Google TV is sitting. It's just another launcher that's sitting on Android TV OS. It just it does the same thing, just different user interface. They they got the same settings, everything. All right, it's like a it's like a four expedition and a Lincoln Navigator. They look the same. It's pretty much the same vehicle. <laughs> it's just that one got an oval and the other one got a Lincoln, you know, the more squarish, you know, um, symbol. That's pretty much it. And one may have a little a bell and whistle. Well, I ain't going to lie. The, the Lincoln will have a few extra features. But if you put them side by side, a black one and, and everything, and you look, if you're a mile down, look at them, they look just the same. It's just that as you coming up on it, you know, the grills are different. One is a Ford, the other one is a Lincoln. That's pretty much all it is, guys. That's just like a Cadillac Escalade. You look at an Escalade, and then you look at uh, a towel. Something They look similar. Very, very similar until you get up on it. But I'm quite sure they be having the same features in them. Just a little bit different. You going you might get a little bit of extra oomph when you go <laughs> when you go with the Cadillac version compared to like a Yukon or whatever or Tahoe, whichever one of them they they follow behind. So, uh, but that's pretty much it, though. What is up, everybody? Don't forget to smack that thumbs up. Now, let's get into today's topic right here. Uh, let me see what we got. What do we have now? I received quite a bit of uh, questions concerning the library. And also, I got some little nasty little comments too. One person said, "Well, damn, do you uh do Nova? Are you sponsored by Nova Video Player?" And I'm like, you know, it's just somebody that's going to always say something. That's one of the ways to get on my nerves right there. You know, um, you know, <laughs> when you try to teach people, you know, or it could be a troll. It could be anybody. At the end of the day, I didn't even respond to him. I just left it there because it was the reason that whoever this person was, they came to watch the video. And then they, you know, they wanted to put their little two cents in it. But... I encourage people, you know, if you if you know something, start a channel. Teach us. You know, it's nothing like teaching people, but people don't be wanting to do all that. They scared to get on the camera because they know they not they can't educate the people, you know. And I done seen so many people come and I done seen many go. And the the teaching part is very, very tough because they don't take the time to sit back and say, you know what? I got to teach this like I'm teaching a little kid. Regardless of how smart you are, you can be the smartest man in the world. But everybody's not going to know that terminology that you're using because you want to be the smartest person in the room. I can't stand them type of people. Honestly, I think it's a time and place for that. You know, uh, if you're in the room with a bunch of Corporate executives, I understand. But if you in the classroom full of uh, people that's just trying to make it, whether we know the terminology or not, we have to bring it down where everybody understand. And that's the difference. That's why they cannot grow because they don't know how to teach you from the basic. All right? You got your basic, then you go up to inter intermediate, and then you start elevating. You know, if you get to that crowd, but a lot of people don't know how to do that. You know, they, they want to be the smartest man in the room and that's why they don't last because not everybody's going to come in and do, you know, you got to execute the AV1. The average person going to say, well, what is an AV1? Instead of saying, hey guys, you know, there's a new video codec AV1 this enhances the video plan for 4K and probably higher in the future. 
They're not going to do that. You know, this is directly strictly towards the 4K use. So if you ever was to get a 4K movie or 4K film, some type of video, and you put that file onto your um your your Android device or whatever device you use, it will not have a hard time playing. It'll just play. They don't take the time to explain that. And that's when they people get lost. I see it every day when I, I be on here trying to learn and see what people talking. And it's crazy. I don't know what the heck because they using these terminologies because they in IT and all of that and don't nobody understand it. But them IT people are somebody who's familiar with those terms. Instead of saying a term and teaching, they'll say a term and then next thing you know, you got to go and do the research and be like, hey, what what is you know what that mean? What that mean? What that mean? So, in this core cutting community, it is not going to grow. So that's why when I do my consultation, I'm teaching, you know, and I'm making people listen. This is all you have to do. You do this step, and you take this step, and then we go over here, and we do this part and this part, and then we go there, and people understand. You know, I don't make it harder than what it need to be. And I think that's the difference between myself and others. And plus, I have patience. And so, and I like to listen and I like to learn. And I think that's what that's where the respect comes in at right there. So, um, let's get on over here. Now, part of the media library questions that I received over the weekend is, can you do it on a, can you share it on the, Am I mean, not the Amazon, the Apple 4K? Yes, you can. Um, depending on what device you have and how you have your, you know, how you got your setup going, you can do it. Um, also, I just never done it. My, my Apple 4K is still sitting right here because I'm just thinking, I'm just, I'm just trying to um, think of some things to do with it. Um, again, it's probably going to go to my daughter. She she come down here and she be asking, Dad, what you going to do with it? I just ain't made a decision yet if I'm going to let it go. And now also um, another question was brought up. Um, how often should, no, this is what it was. Let's do this. All right, let me do this. Let me share my screen because this is very important. And, and I apologize to anyone because I never mentioned this in my videos. All right. And see, that's why we need that, that two-way communication. Because, yes, this does happen. And guess what? I haven't saw anybody. Well, I ain't going to say I ain't saw because I don't know. I don't know. Let me not say that. But this is what we're going to do. Let me make sure I'm on the right device. Make sure I ain't got nothing on here because you know the haters. Again, the haters are going to come over here and look and see exactly what it is. And they like to run their chops. Oh, he's doing this. He's doing that. So that's just how it is. Uh, let me share my screen right quick before I look at y'all uh, y'all questions and stuff like that. All right, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, Melissa, I'm going to put you in timeout. And let me tell you why I'm putting you in timeout. We don't talk about that over here. Now, that's your warning. All right, we don't talk about that over here. You go to somebody else's channel, please. All right. Lucky one of the snipers did not get you because they would have got you up out of here real quick before I even noticed it. So going forward, you're you're on timeout for five minutes. But going forward, please don't ask about that, or you will get blocked. And then the only way you can get back on is I mean, you can watch, but you will not be able to comment on here. All right. Uh, you'll have to create a whole new account. And if you say it again, one of the snipers will hit you. We don't talk about that on this channel due to YouTube terms and services. Now, if you want to get into that field, 
Google is your best friend. Go over there and Google them, or you can Google one of them other YouTubers and see if they will help you here. So going forward, Melissa, not trying to be hard, but please do not bring that conversation to this platform. All right? That's your only and final warning. All right? But you are in timeout. All right? Trying to get my channel hit. <laughs> Trying to get my, my channel hit. All right, let me show you something right here. Let me show you something. Let me go into my extra camera. Let me go ahead and share this. All right, let me bring this up. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this one larger. All right, I'm going to make this one larger. What's up, Jill, baby? What is up? What is good with you? All right. Salute, salute. I see Chariot up in here, too. What up, though, Chariot? I see you up in here. All right. You know when you're dealing with Nova Video Player, depending, guys, depending on what you just uploaded and all of that. So say you uploaded some type of film, video onto your server, and you go over to Nova Player, right? And you be like, hey, my film is not displaying the newest <laughs> uh, the newest video that I uploaded, right? And I apologize again. This is all you have to do is go down to network, all right, and click network. And right up here at the top, you can click rescan. If you hit rescan, you can just manually rescan as you see right there on the screen. And up there where you see, you know, the time and all of that, you will see how many films you uploaded and all of that. Also, guys, you can also select scheduled rescans. Or you can select rescan when opening the la the the oh, rescan when you're opening that um, application. And also, it tells you when the last time you rescan. All right. That was a great question because they say, Dale, they said, look, and see, this is what I do. You send me, if you send me the, the questions, I can write them down. Even though I, I sent him what to do, somebody's going to run into this problem. All right. So if you ever upload some content and you go up here and be like, man, where's my TV show? Where's my movies? I don't see them. All you have to do is just go down here to network because this is not Zadu. And I think what's going to happen, uh, people are people with Zadus, y'all, we are spoiled because as soon as we put it up on the Zadu server, what happens? Bing! It comes right up. <laughs> so listen when you pay for something it's going to work a little bit different but if you get something for free it's not going to taste just like that paid version all right so just use that analogy but again anytime you upload so say if i was to take a film right now and let me see if i can do something right quick let me just see i might have something in the background all right that i can use all right let me see something because i love giving demonstrations all right all right let me do this right quick let's see if i got anything over here all right i do have one all right so what i'm going to do i got my movie that i recorded <laughs> That is called Elvis, all right? So what I'm going to do, let me go into my network. And just to show you, matter of fact, before I even do that, all right? Because you know somebody always trying to question my skills, right? Somebody always trying to question my skills. As you see right here, if I go into all movies, you do not see anything, right? All right, pay attention. You do not see anything, all right? So I'm going to back out of here, and then I'm going to go over here to network. I'm going to rescan, all right? Rescan 
all that. Nothing is there. And then go back to the movie. All right? Just to show people. That's TV shows. Go up one more. Nothing is there. So let me jump on my computer because this device is still connected. All right? My phone is going off like, yo. All right, so let me do this. Y'all should know by now how to share. All right, so I'm going to take, I'm going to take, I'm going to add a couple movies. I'm going to add this one. All right. And we're going to wait for that to go through. And then I'm going to add Resurrection. All right. Because y'all know me. I got a cloner alliance. I like to record my films and stuff like that. Right. All right. So I'm, I'm sitting back here and I'm uploading a film to my folder. Now I have a very, very small, just, just for this demonstration purposes, it's only got like, it's going to, going to have like seven movies on it compared to what I used to present. All right. Very, very easy. And I'm going to add one more to this. All right. And just so y'all see it, you know, I like to share everything. All right. I do like to share because that's just how it is. I like to share. All right. Let me do this right quick. Hopefully y'all be able to see that. So here is my two films. And remember, I'm in Dell Media F. You see it right there. I'm in F. So let me go and grab my other film. All right. Let me pull this up. And I'm going to add, as you see, I'm dragging, and I'm going to drop it into my movie folder. All right? And you see it right there, and it's going across. Simple as that, right? Can't be that hard. All right? Cannot be that hard. All right? Again, if you need a consultation, please go to the email at superdaletv at gmail.com. All right? So we're going to wait for that to go through. Again, it's good that you see me doing this, but I thought that was an amazing question. All right? And hopefully it go through. All right? The plan is for it to go through. All right? So y'all going to see it's complete. And look. That, that had that bad boy in my recycling. All right, so let me stop sharing screens. Let me go to this one and make this one large. Now, you see five films in here, right? All right, you see it. I'm going to go out. I'm going to rescan. I mean, network and file. And then I'm going to select network. All right. And then look up, look up at the top right hand corner you see the time 742 you see it you see i added this to my f drive okay this is the 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 um the drive that i'm sharing on my windows pc you see it i'm gonna do a rescan and right up under the time you should see the number two this is how easy it is. So watch this. I'm going to do the scan, rescan now. And you see it's two things, two, one. All right? Went through that quick. Because you're sitting at your computer and all you're doing is dragging and dropping this onto your, your shared network. Basically, this external hard drive that I have connected to my, to my uh, PC is playing like what playing like a nas right playing like a network attached storage it just don't give you the backup option all right so now when i hit the back button and i go out all right and i go out here now when i go up to the movies i should have two films added and as you see it right there you got these two all right remember those were not there it is 
easy than a mug to actually set this up, guys. It's easy. Really, if you're doing everything right here. So, again, even if you got the Zadu, you can actually go into the Zadu and actually get this to come over and display on your Zadu as well. So, it's a pretty simple as that. Uh, for anybody that's willing to actually share their home movies that you ripped or or you got and just share them. And it's as simple as that. And look at this. When I go up to what recently added, what do you see? The two films that I added. All right. It's as simple as that, guys. This is it, it, it's not that hard, really, once you're getting it. All right. When you get it, I'm telling you, it is very, 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 very well. I'm telling you. All right, let me go up here right quick. Uh, I think I saw something. Roberto Crispo, salute. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate the love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for showing that love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Big salute. Big salute. Hold up, I hear my phone going off. It might be something special. It could be something special. All right. Oh, that's them guys in the background talking. <laughs> Hold up. I might got something up in this joint. I just saw something come across. Let me see. RB. Riddle, big salute to you. Thank you for donating. I appreciate that. Definitely appreciate that. I know we, we business partners, so I know what it is. Uh, Miss T Harper, you already know what it is. Salute. Thank you, baby. I appreciate all the love. Roberto, salute. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But if you have any questions about your home network and starting your media library, just let me know. We are starting a movement because I want y'all to get away from the third parties. Let lead them third party applications to your customers. But for you, you, you should have your own and you should be building your own collection. It's just going to work so well. You just don't know, man, because sometimes the links don't work and we just don't have time for that. All right. BB say, yo, Dale, sweet man K with the J's. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Big B. Thank you. Yeah, I got I got the J's right here. And look, I'm starting my LeBron. I don't have everything up yet because I ran out. Uh, I got to order another shelf. So I said, forget it. I just go and get it. And then um, I start slowly but surely adding the rest of the collection. But I'm still missing some spots here, so I'm gonna have to figure. I don't know, cause I got like, I got like six more pair of Jordans right here, and you know these are the latest ones right here, the Concords. These are the latest ones that I got right here. All right, so those, and then um, I got the threes as well. A lot of people know about these right here. They just came out. So I got those right there. And again, I just want my room to look just as good as others, but mine's is going to be full, <laughs> full of shoes. And then it just feels good to just come down here with an outfit on and just be like, all right, what I'm going to wear? You know how I'm going to get these. And so these were the... Uh, these are the 36s, the J's 36s right here. I wore these over the weekend. All right. Got a little fit to go with them. 
And these are uh, what Tatum actually wears. All right, but these are the lows. Tatum's is up there at the top, them green ones. So very, very, very nice, though. Very, very, very nice. Thanks, Big B. Odell, what up, though? What up, G? What's good? What's good? Skipper, what up, though? What's good? What well, is good? Let me see who else is in the building. They say, hey, Dale, more shoes. Are those are those things breathing when you're not in the room? Shit, they might. <laughs> they might. <laughs> Look, I don't even be planning, but then I, I done build such a relationship with a with a, quite a few of these people uh that work in the shoe store that they be like, yo, Dale. And I got a, a great relationship with one of the guys, man. One of the guys, I'm not going to say the store name, but it is a, a popular store name that looks out. Ooh, man, it, it is crazy. Looks out. All right. Dale, did you see the gummy sole Jordans? Ooh, they, they are sweet. I saw, I didn't see those, or maybe I did. Maybe I did. Um, but I did see the ones that LeBron got. And uh, my son was looking at them, and he was like, I'll hoop in them. So I don't know. I, got, I just got to see them, so, bro. I got to see them. Uh, I see so many Jordans, man. I'll be like, ah. Big A say, hey, Dale, what up, Dale? Since football is around the corner, do you think the 85 Bears have the best defense ever in football? Shit, I don't know. I ain't following them Chicago Bears. I think around that time, man, I was only 10 years old. So uh, I was more into basketball around that time. So it's been some great defenses. You got Baltimore Ravens who actually won a championship off their defense. So I wouldn't know, man. I just think, you know, uh, different errors, uh, you know, different errors. I don't know. I couldn't even tell you. What up, Thomas? What's up, Lynn Katz? What's up, baby? How you doing, Lynn? Appreciate you. Steven in here. They say, yeah, another rack of shoes. Are the <laughs> yeah, we, we talked about that. Chariot, what up, though? Jolly Jolly say, yo, finally got my Zadu. That's what's up. Yep, that's what's up. Kristen said, I would like to know how to get the content and put it on a hard drive. Christian, that's where this come into play right here. I do I do a, a consultation, a one-on-one. -on -one. Me and you, nobody else. It's just a one-on-one. -on -one. That way, I show you, I lead you to it. I show you what you need and all of that. Send me an email. And I send it to you. But then in that consultation, like if you have any other cord cutting questions, you know, this is the time that you ask. Believe me, every, every consultation, somebody throws something at me. And sometimes I know it. And sometimes I don't. But then sometimes I'm like, oh, you ain't got to worry about that. You know, so definitely book a consultation with me. Um, it is 50 bucks, but at the end of the day, you will not look back. And I'm telling you, you're going to go to the next level. So just put that consultation. The email is right there, and you can go from there. Yep, you can go from there. My girl Jill up in this joint. Who else is up in there? Huff is up in this joint. What up, though, Huff? Yep. There we go. Yeah, we we just can't see. It used to be a time, and I'm I see I see Dave just comment, and that's the beauty because I they they be letting people know like hey hey no not don't do it on this because we had to change so much because of YouTube terms and services, so we can't sit back. Like honestly, I wish I could make a video. Because I know it'll be in rotation 24-7. But unfortunately, with the new YouTube Terms of Services, they start coming after, you know, cord cutters who were actually showing you step by step. 
on how to save, you know, how to get it for free and stuff like that. Well, we can't do that anymore. And so it kind of hindered a lot of um, uh, cord cutters and, and, and streamers as well. But I really want to show y'all how to do this yourself. Forget waiting on them third party and all of that. You know, hire me because you know you're going to get quality. You know, I'm not going to teach you anything outside of this world. I'm teaching you the basic. Now, if you take that basic and want to advance it, at least you still got your foundation if that advancement don't work. Like, I saw people, like, a couple years ago trying this other product, how to get it and get And it was just like, and paying, and paying. And I, I'm talking about paying, and it did not work out. You know, it didn't work out because they, they only emailed me, hey, Dale, do you know how to use this? No, I don't use that because I don't need all of them films. I don't need all of those TV shows. I built my movie collection around what I like and what my family like. Not about, it, it's no competition when it comes to me. Like, I'm in plex groups where guys got like, 30,000, 40,000 films, movies, and they got 15,000 TV shows. I'm not going to watch all of that. You know, shoot, you're not going to watch it. You know, now, I do believe behind the scene they're doing some things. They're making money, and I'm not mad at them. But for me personally, I don't need it. I don't need, I just need what my family, like when my wife said, hey, you know, uh, uh, can you re can you get better call style? You know, that's what I did. You know, I'm not going to watch it. She's going to watch it, you know, and that's what she did over the weekend. That's what she watched. I didn't, you know, I'm not going to watch it. So that is my, my media library is best for me. And everybody else, you do it to however you want. You're going to have some people, when I teach you how to take that next step, you're going to get everything. And there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. What works for you, that is awesome for you. you know. But I'm going to teach you how to get it, put it away, connect it. We're going to connect it to, look, we can connect it to PC now. We can connect it to the Zadu. Also, I just never did a video on how you can connect it to your uh what is that the your router down there. Um I did do a video a while ago um connecting it to the shield, you know, using the Plex server. I did do it. So there are all type of ways that you can do this. Michael, Michael say, yo, a lot of these wannabes don't have the expertise. You know how to make your topics interesting and we learn a lot from you. Thank you, Michael. And that's, and I agree with you because I saw many come, many relationships, and I saw people go because they just could not, they couldn't blend in with their audience, you know, or you had ones, they just could not, they, they, they just could not connect with the audience or they have someone else teach the audience. Or I even saw people making other people money on their channel. Nothing wrong with it. But if I'm not getting the cut, and I ain't, listen, I, and we can't do business. But I, I, and that's all I say, you know, um, me, I just want you to be making your money and it comes to your household. You know, it's not my goal to make money for both. You know, it's not my, it's not tech goal to make money for me, you know, or, or what he do, you know, it, it's just not our goal. You know, every household is different and everybody else got to stand on a two legs and, and, and stand and do it, you know? You know, and uh, that's just what it is. 
But some people, I mean, it is, hey, it is what it is. They just could not connect. Even though I even tried to do some teaching behind the in the background, just just trying to teach people. And again, you know, it just never worked out for them because they just could not connect the two. You know, and like I said, it doesn't matter. You saw them come, you saw them go. And there's nothing wrong with it. You know, that don't that doesn't mean they're not making money you know, in other, in other areas uh, of this core cutting community, but they just couldn't do it on, on YouTube, you know, and that's the thing about it. You know, it's a different audience and it's a different connection. So no hate, but it real is real because if you, if you're in front of this camera and you cannot out of your own mouth, teach your audience is going to be a problem or if you turn a five minute video into an hour and a half video you're going to lose just the what like people listen hey man show me what i got to do just like i told you this is how you do it you know and be done with it but you you just thought you know you got some people who got they are very intelligent and they know their craft but they just cannot connect to the audience like that. And so, unfortunately, you, you're going to see them come. They're going to pop in, and then they're going to pop out, you know, and be gone for a month or two, and then they'll come back in. Hey, hey, you know, and then they'll disappear again. That's just the nature of the business. Yep, that's just the nature of the business. So thanks, Mike. What up, LB? What's good? What is good? Huff say, yo, the best teacher can teach anyone. That's you, my friend. Absolutely. I can teach. Listen, I done taught guys who were, who've been teachers in, listen, I know what I do behind the scene. And to sit back and teach people who have, like, college education, I done even taught a guy who was in the IT field, which I was like, what you mean? And he was like, dude, I did not know this. Because he wasn't presented with the information, you know, and, and and me, it was stupid of me that I'm thinking because he's an IT that he should know everything. No, IT is so big. Now, if he was a person that strictly was IT strictly for Android, now we get into specifics, but. I'm thinking, and that's how I'm thinking at first. I'm like, dude, you in IT? You, you ain't never heard of us? And he was like, no. Nah. But then when I thought about it after the sh after I taught him, I said, but damn, IT is so huge. Because you got IT um, for, what's that, what's that, uh, for GM cars that, that when you hit the button, you got people who strictly watch that area, you know, but they work for the IT. You got some people that work for IT strictly for Windows, have nothing to do with a Mac, don't know anything about a Mac. And but I'm thinking because you in IT, <laughs> you should know all of this stuff. And that was that was my mistake right there, even though I didn't tell him, but that's how I'm thinking. That's just how I'm thinking. And that's just and that if, if I can break down in an analogy, that's like I'm thinking that. Every guy that, that races in NASCAR, because of the speed that they go, they should know how to ride a motorcycle. And that's just not true. You know, not every NASCAR driver is going to know how to drive, how to ride a motorcycle. And just like every motorcycle, guy ain't going to know. Uh, it's people, listen, I done been riding with people. I got a friend. Everybody know if you want to not look 95% of the motorcycles have clutches. I mean, that's, that's the same thing as a car. When you hitting the, uh, a stick, right? When you, and you hitting the stick and you go into gear two, then you go into gear three, four in the car. Well, the same thing happens on a motorcycle. All your action is on your left side. So when you go into, when you're in gear one, dropping in gear one, you let up off the clutch, it takes off, right? 
when you zoom, when that 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 RPM start to get up, you grab the clutch and you go into two, right? And a lot of people, you would think like, dang, dude, you know how to, you driving a motorcycle. You thinking, can you drive this car, a stick? And not everybody know how to do that, you know? And I, I got a friend, terrible, terrible, because he's used to everything being, you know, right here using his left hand. But when you're driving a stick, you you got your left hand on the steering wheel and you're doing everything with your right hand. So, And then you got your, your left foot hitting the clutch and all of that. So it's crazy. It is crazy. So, But every, you know, it, it's so many different aspects to, you know, IT. That you, I mean, it's just too broad. So you got people in different areas and stuff like that. So that's all that is. <clears throat> so that's all that is. <laughs> you say, Claire said you're totally right because I'm also an IT guy for over 27 years and don't know that. Absolutely. And see, listen, and Claire, I thought, I'm thinking like, man, when you in IT, you know everything. And that's not the case because you got you got different areas of ITs and different devices and components that, you know, people will specialize in. And then you just go from there. And when you learn it, you, you just elevating and you learning and breaking and fixing and all of that stuff as you go. So, yes, absolutely. I agree. Yo, Dale, uh, did you ever... Here are the Amber X. If not, can you look into it? Absolutely. I got the Amber X. Uh, the Amber X is over here. Hold up. So, yes, I heard of the Amber X, and this is going to get revisited. Um, but, yes, I have heard of it. This is what you're talking about right here. Yep. That light is blowing, but here it is right here. Amber X, yes. So, I am very, very familiar with the Amber X, yes. It's pretty nice, though. It, it's solid. I, I'm trying to think why did not I fully... Go hard in it. I cannot remember. Uh, something something wasn't right that that I needed to work correctly, uh, Andrew. So, so I can't remember, but I'm very familiar with it. Yeah, I test some things out. He's had build PC since 20 years. I have no about custom. All right, you say, yeah, well, I'm definitely going to, my goal is to build me a PC one day. I definitely want to. Um, I do want to get into this topic, though, because what time is 8.17? I did receive another message and saying, should you buy a regular old basic Android box? Me, personally, I think we have so many options, right? Here's the thing about cheaper Android boxes. And let me show you right now. And when I say cheaper, it's not a knock on. Let me do this right here. Let me go to my Amazon. All right. And I'm going to just type in Android TV box. Now, there are a couple things when it comes to these lower-end devices like this. Um, Let me share my... And you do as you do. One thing I did say, one thing I did say um, is really up to you. I was one of the individuals who used to get devices like this. Now, I'm going to tell you. The beauty about this, right? This is the, the, the beauty about this. 
that you can put a custom launcher on there. You can do, you know, you got the Google Play Store. You have all of that on here. That's the beauty of it. The thing about it is it doesn't receive updates, but honestly, updates don't really matter to us, all right? People are going to say, oh, man, it update this and that. For what we do, I'm just saying for what we do, all we doing is streaming on a lot of these devices. Now, you got some of them who are going to get the NVIDIA Shield because they're doing a little bit of gaming, or maybe they not. I don't know. Or they just need a little bit of power behind it. I don't know. Um, but typical, the typical average person is not going to care if it update because these apps still work on Android 6, Android 7. And what are we? We about to go into Android 12, right? You may say, well, Dale, you know, uh, no, I need the latest version. But if I can tell you, if you got an Android, if, if you have an Amazon Fire Stick or you got an uh, Amazon Fire Stick 4K, they're using Android 6 and Android 7. Go and look at it. In, in Android and what we do, you don't need the latest Android, whatever. That's really for phones, honestly. That is really for phones. Now, the reason why you got um, devices like Android, um, not Android, devices like the NVIDIA Shield and things like that, they're doing updates because there are things going on behind the scene that they're trying to introduce to us. And certain applications will not work with Android 6 or Android 7 and all of that. So certain firmware is what they need for it to work properly or, or, or just, um, it's like, I ain't going to say secure, but it's more stable. That's the difference between certain applications. And it may not even be an application that we're using. But in order for it to work, they need it to work on that end. You know, that's just how it is. All right? It can be an application that NVIDIA is invested in. They're invested. And it's called laundry detergent. That's the name of the application. But the application only works on Android 10 and up. And so <laughs> when we try to put it on Android 6 and 7, it's crashing. I done been there. I done saw devices where apps will work on the NVIDIA Shield and crash on a, a no-name box. And I done seen apps that work on a no-name box and doesn't work on the Shield because of cat, um on uh, compatibility, co uh, what you call it? <laughs> compatibility issues. I can't even say compatibility. <laughs> I can't say constructive criticism. I can't say all that. But it has it has a combat a combat. Say the word, damn it. it! It is not capable of doing it because of that. You know, it, it's just that's just how it is. Um, is not capable because it needs certain firmwares and stuff like that. So that's just how it is. That's just the norm of it. Um, but it it listen, if you're a hustler and you put your own uh your own uh launcher and all of that, you because I was one of the ones that did it, right? I used to have the world spinning. And when people hook it up to their televisions, they'd be like, wow. You know, but not all applications are going to be like some of these newer applications that they're making, even though they have nothing to do with what we're doing, it's just not capable of working on older um, devices. That's why, I mean, you got 
you got some the some applications that are for fire sticks that will not work on anything but the fire stick or the Amazon streaming of devices. And that's just how it is, you know, and, and I don't again, a lot of y'all done saw it. I done saw it as well. So the question is, are you still using the cheaper Android boxes? To me, I would say get your hustle on. Now, these boxes are pretty much good. I say you probably can get about three to four years on them. All right, you can get about three to four years on them before it's time to, like, actually tell your people. I used to tell my people, hey, man, two to three years. Because the thing about it, compared to, like, 2015 when everything was, like, slow, now, I just don't have the time. Like, I still got a device out there. Two of my customers, they still using the Android 5.1. And I told them, when that sucker go out, a thing's not, hey, I am not working on it. Because it just take too long. I don't have the time to sit back and factory reset and then wait three hours just to set this device up. I'm not doing it. Yeah, com compatibility. I can't say certain C words, man. I got to see it in order to actually say it. So compatibility. I it, now, If I'm just sitting here, like, I can't say constructive criticism. <laughs> Unless I see it. If I see it, then that I can, I can go with it. But if I'm not... It's like the tone be like, nah, dog. Nah. But thanks so, bro. Compatibility, man. I don't know why I can't say it. I, it's just that certain words, man. I'd be like, what the heck? But then if I read it, if I see it, I can do it, man. But sometimes, yeah, it just it just doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. I have I have two clients that have Android 5.1 and the app still work. Look, just look at, at look at Amazon. Amazon, one of the devices are on Android 6. <laughs> That's it. All, all Amazon is doing is putting a launcher, a launcher that one of they guys created and putting it on top because remember, Android is what? Open source. But yes, I have two people remaining, and they say hey, they say it worked. That's on them. But they done had that bad boy at least seven years. Now I don't know about all that other. I, I don't know. They, but they. I'm not going to describe. Hey, listen. All right. I told them I was like, hey man, you probably going to need to get you another device, and they they cool with it. So. Constructed. <laughs> oh man, what up though? Lady God is saying, hey, good night, Dale, and everyone have a good one. All right. Thank you, Lady Sun Goddess. But yeah, I mean, any of these devices, you know, um, some of these devices that you can get, like you get you can get this one, Android TV box is running 11, 2 gigs, 16 gigs on the internal. A lot of this you can get and actually use it to your advantage. All right? You can use it to your advantage. Um, you know, what, will I get them? No, not for me because I just, I just, I think what I set my devices up for, it works fine on them little cheap little Walmart boxes. So I don't have to, I don't need no four gigs of RAM all of that stuff for it to work. And a lot of times it's good on the operating system. Depends what operating system you have on there too. And just go from there. So I thought it was a good question and all of that. Now, can I use one of these, one of these devices? Absolutely. I can. And um, I'm thinking of doing something, but I don't know with a, with a box being 20 to $30 or a device being 20 to $30, it's hard to go up here and spend forty dollars on a on a device, but I do understand because a lot of y'all, 
actually use custom launchers. Y'all be using them custom launchers, and I understand it, and it makes it look so much better. But then when you got a device like this that's only $30, <laughs> and you know this bad boy going to work, and you know it's going to get the updates and stuff like that, then that's when you got to think and be like, hold up. <laughs> Should I get this one or oh, stuff like that? So, I mean, you got the TiVo Stream 4K for 30 bucks, and you can get it tomorrow. And so it's just different things like that. Um, you know, but I was I was heavy into this stuff, like heavy. I was into it big time. I cannot stand these remote controls, anything. But I was into it big time with these uh, boxes and stuff like that. I just saw the box. The I think it was called the, uh, was it? I think it was the X96 Max. Ooh, boy, I think that's what it was called. This one right here. But the reason I, I listen, I, I ain't going to even lie. I got, I left this alone. And you see it's running Android 9. This one is running. This one probably running nine as well. Don't say right here. Let me see. Look, I ain't purchased one since the the, the twenty twenty. Shoot, that's about to be two years ago. But let's see what Android is running. Four gigs of RAM, sixty. Uh, this used to be my go to box right here. But again, why I'm going to pay $70, that's the reason I left them alone because they started going up on their price. They went up. They went up big time. And a, the box I used to get, mine was rooted. So, but I don't see where what where, where Android is running. But it is what it is. But I used to actually use this device right here. That was my go-to. That was my go-to, and they started changing their prices, and I was like, hold up, man. I mean, they started getting outrageous with the prices, and that's when I left it alone. I said, oh, no, I can't, I can't, I can't go with that, all right? I said, forget that. All right, that I had a little something, something. I heard my phone going off. Or my phone going off, so so yep. Ah, uh, you ain't say yo, a custom launcher ain't worth nothing if you don't know how to use your device and app. Absolutely. Uh, but you know what? If um that's where that teaching coming in at uh that's where that teaching, James. And what you could do, what I used to do is actually get the device. And I used to go up to the store that was called Five and Below. And I used to get them a, a mouse. That way, easy navigation because I don't like phone calls. But the thing about it, I had a, uh, and I still got it, a Facebook group page where I actually taught people. And everybody, except for this one guy, man, this one guy, oh, my goodness, older guy. You know, he was one of them older guys. Uh, I ain't on Facebook. I don't trust Facebook and all that stuff. I said, well, create a fake one. Just let me know it's you. And he was so hard, but I had to tell him, like, listen, man, look, is, is, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. I take your call once a week if you run into a problem or you can get on Facebook where you see these videos. And that way you're not calling me two, three, four times a day because I'm not going to answer your calls because this is becoming too much. And then a, a little a conversation turns into like a 10 minute conversation or not. And 10 minutes might not even a 20 and 30 minute conversation. And I just didn't want to do it. I'm like, dude, just get on here because I got the videos. And, of course, he ain't had the phone. 
He didn't trust emails. He, I'm like, dude. But then I tell him, like, because I knew his whole name. Like, dude, I searched your name. I know exactly where you stay. <laughs> you can't have from nobody. You know, like, come on, dude. Get into the time. But finally, his wife ended up jumping on. And she got tired of him. But, hey, that was her husband. And then um, he wanted me to do something. I refused to do it. So I guess he got mad at me. I was like, dude, I'm not doing that crap. So it is what it is. It is what it is. Yep. Um, the realists say, yo, some boxes say eight gigs of RAM isn't necessary. Heck, you know. It, 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 listen, the RAM, uh, I, w- I mean, on a cheap Android box, nah. Because you, listen, I guarantee if you get that box that's eight gigs of RAM, and you get that NVIDIA Shield that only has three, who you think on what what's device going to move faster? <laughs> now, that little cheap Android TV box got five more gigs of RAM, right? What device you think going to move faster? And that That's just a selling point. It ain't going to mean nothing in our world. Absolutely nothing. You know, um... It won't, it, 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 it's not going to, re- I wouldn't fall for it. Honestly, you could do well with a two gig or a four gig. You know, that's just when you open in a bunch of windows. Like if you're going to use the box to get on the internet and stuff like that, it'll control that. But on the Android box, it just doesn't mean anything to me. Because I got devices, look, a lot of the devices that I get, like the mom, um, The Walmart boxes are, what, two gigs of RAM, and they work just as good. They work just as good, so it doesn't mean anything to me. So, yeah. So, what else we got? We got, what is it? What time is it? It is, what, uh, 118? I'm just trying to see something right quick. He say, uh, Dale, is there any other platforms that you can use that's more private? There's Telegram. That's private since YouTube. <laughs> I, I know about Telegram. I know about Discord. I know about all of those. But eventually, you know, they start um Discord already started cracking down on people because people used to post a lot of content and all of that. And um, you know, uh so what I do, I use a whole nother platform and I teach it one on one. The only thing about those other platforms, you don't see guys putting up videos because they're not gonna be in heavy rotation and they're not gonna get paid. At the end of the day, when you're teaching, like when you sitting up there using your equipment, like that camera that I'm using right there, this camera was like 500 and something dollars. These monitors right here, you're talking like two, two something. You know, the camera, I mean, the lighting right here, the lighting, all because it is always evolving, right? I got a webcam that's a, a, a 1080p webcam that's right there. You know, it always costs. So when one device start acting up, you need to keep it going. Well, if you drop a video on Discord or Telegram, you don't get too many donations. You know, like, if you was to get the donations and stuff like that, then that would be something different. But you don't get that. People would just take it and run with it. So, again, you got to sit back and, and make it work for you. Because you – remember – the goal is for uh, me to go out and let me spend the cash before you do it. That That's what this channel is. Let me go out there and spend it because some so many of y'all donate to me, and I just take that and I put it back into uh, this area. That way the videos are not fuzzy. Like if you look at my videos, the last two videos, they are in 1080. But now if you go back, a year ago, 
you'll see 720, and then you'll see when equipment start messing up, it was in 480 and all that stuff. And so, you know, you just want to be able to have the equipment to present and then have that conversation. That way, just in case, you know, you get to talking and somebody want to learn, you can give it to them. But putting it on Discord or Telegram, Rumble and all that stuff, I heard a Rumble. I never used it. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I just rather for you to just say, hey, man, I'm really trying to learn. You know, I need your assistance. You know, can you take me to the next level? Everything I and look, when I started YouTube, I didn't I just jumped in it, you know, spending money, sending stuff back, getting microphones, headsets, all type of stuff, you know. Uh, at this time, you know, you really don't make that much on YouTube like you used to. Because everything is about views. Remember back in the day, they used to look at your subscribers, your views, right, and put it together. Now it's all about views. And if they're going to dictate what you can use on their platform, it makes it very, very tough in our niche. It just makes it very, very tough. I mean, tough. It makes it just that tough. Well, if I can't show y'all, I'm so used to just showing y'all, and I... Not only y'all, other people who come across the video, they see it. They actually see it. And they be like, oh, shoot. And they bump into it, and then they become a subscriber. Well, if I can't, the, the, the reason you come to YouTube is what? To learn and get that knowledge. Well, if I can't present a cord cutting knowledge the way I want to, it's not going to work. And that's that's the big that's the big problem, Big B. It's nothing against y'all. It's it's the creators versus the new YouTube terms of services. That's that's the big thing right there. That is it is like creators versus YouTube terms and services. <laughs> and then you know if, if you just can't show everything, like I said, man, we used to show it all. And they, man, they started tearing our videos up, man. People were losing channels. Strike one, strike two, strike three. Like, I was waking up in the morning, like, mm, grab my phone, go to YouTube. Oh, you got a strike. Like, what the? <laughs> you like, a strike or what? And then when we started seeing it, I mean, you down there trying to clean up as much as you can, so... The, the other, you know, and then it comes down to searching, right? When someone searches how to fix a water heater, Rumble is not going to come up. Discord is not going to come up. Uh, Telegram is not going to come up. It's either going to be Google or YouTube. And then when you go to page like uh, 12, you might see some other type of video, you know, some uh, video platforms. Nothing is going to show up. And so the goal is to, to get found. That's the whole goal of it. So that's why we do what we do. You see a lot of people like, man, I, you know, I, I can't go nowhere. Ice Ice Cody, what up, though? It's been a long time, Ice Ice Cody. He said, yep, I'm still getting straight. <laughs> Yeah, you disappeared on us. <laughs> he said, yep, I'm still getting strikes. I haven't uploaded a, a video for years. Man, that's crazy. No, I didn't see your question, man, because I was talking. It, hey, Rich, if I'm talking like this, I'm not looking at this monitor. So if you see me talking and I'm going like this, I'm not going to see your question. So when you see me looking in this camera, but now when you see me do this, then that's when you I, I'm checking the comments out. But if you see me looking directly like this, no nah, man. <laughs> I did not see your question. So you got to wait for me to do this, Rich. But if you see me just focus and having that, that conversation, yeah, I'm not I'm not looking at the comments, but I will go up now. I will go up now. If I can find it. I don't know. Or you can repost it. Let me 
Let's see. Look, Rich asked twice. Say, did you see my question? Did you see my question? Like, uh, no. <laughs> oh, man. Let me see if I can find Rich. Dave say, yeah, the fire stick cube outperform some of the more. Absolutely. And they run an Android 6 and 7. <laughs> They run it. They run an Android six and seven. That's why I tell people, don't get caught up in that. Don't get caught up in that Android. Oh, I got to have it. Look. Man, that that's for your phone, not for your boxes. I tell you that now. What up, QC? All right, let me go up here and try to find Rich Question because I don't see nothing for Rich so far. Lady Sun God to say, Dale, I just spent 20 minutes on the phone trying to get my shield on track before I came on here. Man. Man. Hey, Dale and everyone. What's up, Bill? How you doing? He didn't say, hey, man, please tell me which device can handle Plex with about 1,000 uh, movies and 40 series. Shoot, yo, depending on your PC, you can run that. Depending on your router, you can put it on that. Um, you got a lot of devices that will handle your Plex. Uh, it's just how you going to set it up. Which one of these devices you want to make the server? Like right now, my Plex is on my Netgear X10 router because it has a dedicated server built inside of the software on that router. So it just depends what device, any anything can handle your Plex, right? Um, a lot of these devices, whether it's your PC, it, 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 you know, um, it's just all about your settings. You got NVIDIA Shield, which I didn't have a good, experience with but many people do they have great experience with um the nvidia shield um plex so you're gonna have to find out which one if you got a pc you can hook that you whatever you got whether it's an external drive or not you can hook that bad boy up and go from there you can do it you can set it up with your your router or if you got the external drive you can set it up with your pc so it just really is really up to you what device you want to use, you know. So, I, I mean, I'm going to tell you not. If I was to give you two, I would say I would go with either PC if you got an external drive. But if you got a NAS, just hook it up to your router. Your router should be able to, whatever you put on that NAS, it should, uh, once it get hooked up to your router and you go to share it, it should work. It should work. So it just it's just up to you. You got to find that niche. What do you want? You know, because you got network attached storage devices. You got the, the NVIDIA Shield that allows you to plug in and you can share it that way. Uh routers, uh external drives. I mean, it's really it's it's up to you, really. It's limited. Like you can get a mini PC to actually run your Plex server. Honestly, you can do that. You can do that and then go from there. And it, it'll be, it's very, very easy. Like you can take, you can actually plug an external drive up to your computer. And what you can do is jump on Plex and have Plex pull that media from your, uh, uh, from there and actually use it you know you can it's all type of ways it's really up to you though it's really up to you i don't see rich i don't know what rich as i don't even see your question hi gary yes the on box is very very nice it is 
it's not the most powerful device, but if you're just trying to watch some Netflix 4K, Hulu 4K, Prime Video 4K, yes, it's pretty solid. Absolutely, you can use it. You can use it. Yes, absolutely. Now, it's not the most powerful device, but it's, it'll get you going. It'll get you going. Absolutely. Mark say, yo, smart televisions or fire sticks or cues, which one you prefer? Me personally, I would probably go with the the, the hardware. Instead of the TVs, um, I would probably go with like a fire stick. And the reason why, or the cube, the reason why, because you can unplug and take it with you. It's portable, right? You can take it with you. Well, that TV, you can't take it with you. See, with that stick, you can just pick that stick up, put it in your pocket, and take it to your job. You know, take it. you can take it on a road trip with you. Um, but it's hard to take the television, you know. And then when they make devices that, like, a little bit more powerful, you can always upgrade, right? Well, with that TV, you, your upgrade is going to be, what, 10 times more than that, that stick or that cube. So I would say, I would say I would prefer the devices instead of the television. No, that's just me. Now, I would say if you in your office or something like that, and that's just one of your chill spots and you're not going to be doing too much heavy uh, uh, TV watching. Is a, it's just somewhere when you're down there and you just want to turn the TV on. Then I, I could say, and you could just put your a few of your apps on there. Then I would say, yeah, you can go with that. But for your main living room and stuff like that, I would rather for you to spend the money on a television, a regular smart television. Maybe it will give you Android or whatever, but I still use the devices instead because you're going to have that same processor and all of that years later. And when technology get better, you know, you can, you know, it, it just, you'll probably want the newer devices compared to that old television because that TV going to become ops. I ain't going to say obsolete, but it's going to become old and it's going to be there compared to a device that's way cheaper that's getting better. So, Mark, that I would say devices. That's just me. Hey, hey, hey Rich, I don't see your... your uh, you're going to have to repost that, man. All right, he said, question. I downloaded Nova Player from the Play Store on the Shield. And it's not opening. Have you ever encountered that? Well, you're probably going to have to go, go, and did you clear the data out of it? You say, I downloaded the Nova player from the Play Store on the Shield, and it's not opening. I never encountered that on the NVIDIA Shield. Clear the data. It could be something going on with that, that, that version that you just got. But clear the data and see if that happens. See if that uh works or not. I feel like I got a sneeze. If not, uninstall it and reinstall. Something like that. Yeah, you can put Plex on anything. You can put Plex. Shh. It's people. Listen, one thing about that. Look, I wanted to get into the Raspberry Pis. You could do so much with a Raspberry Pi. You can set up a Raspberry Pi to work on opening up and closing your garage. Yeah. You say on Android TV boxes is great for streaming. Absolutely. They definitely great. They definitely great. Yeah. Yeah. You say wherever you go, your fans will follow. Yeah, but I want I want to meet newer fans, too. You know, um, I want my videos to be able to help everybody and not just uh, my, my my followers. I want my videos to be able to, when you have that mother and father that was on top of the world and now, you know, they need some help. They need, you know, they got to make some choices where they got to cut some bills. 
on 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 Rumble is not going to come up. Them people would never find me on Rumble. You know, um, y'all will see me on Rumble, but what about them other folks? You know, them them newer folks. Cause when they go to when they go to search, like, uh, how do I save money? How do I cut the cable cord? Rumble is not going to come up. You know, that's the only thing about it, James. Remember, I it's uh I want to reach, I I want to I I want to reach other people as well. That way, when they come across or they just want to save some money, you know, and times is tight. I want them to be able to see my videos, and that's the thing about it. You know, uh, I want to be able to reach. Like, look, I'm gonna tell you now. At least, at least every week, James, I get at least four people. Matter of fact, I I did a consultation with two of them. They said, "Man, I don't know how I found your video, but I thank you for, I thank you." I had two consultations over the weekend, and they said it. They said, "Man, I just found you like a week, week and a half ago, and this is something I always wanted to do. I wanted to have my own. I wanted to start my own library where I could have everything to myself, and." If I was on Rumble doing it, they wouldn't have never saw me. And so I just want people, you know, I know we got us, but I do want other people to find me as well. So that's the only thing. That's the only thing about that, James. We don't we don't talk about that on here. We we do not talk about that on here. So nope. I cannot give you any information. I just told a person the other, uh, earlier. I don't know if they was trolling or not, but nope. I do not talk about that on this platform here. Absolutely not. Nope. I do not. My first Plex was a laptop with an external drive. And you know what? I think my Plex, when I tried Plex and I failed big time, I tried to use it on my PC. Yep, I tried to use it on my PC. So. so absolutely. But what we got? Where we at? Uh again, uh, because I'm not gonna hold y'all up. Uh I did watch uh 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 he's a yeah, last one. Yeah, we just don't so everybody, please don't talk about that the eyebrow Peterson television. Keep that, you know, we don't talk about it over here. Um, um, I did watch that movie. How many of y'all like the Predator movie? Pray. If you like that movie, before we get up out of here, if you like that Prey movie, if you saw it, please put one in it. If, you, if it was all right, you say it's all right, put two. How many of y'all like the Prey movie? You know, how many of y'all like it? I just want to I just wanna see how many people liked it. and Because I need to call my pops. My pops, woo. My, <laughs> my pops, man. How many of y'all liked it? And then if you if it was all right or you really didn't like it, just put two. Or maybe y'all ain't saw it. I don't know. They say I ain't saw it yet. I'm gonna watch tonight. I guess a lot of people ain't watched it. <laughs> oh, Noberto said, nah, it's all right, or it didn't like it, right? Sobro say, Sobro say they should have released it earlier in the series, at least to me. So did you like it, Sobro? Or you didn't care too much for it? What's up, Aaron? Because I'll tell you my thoughts. And this is my thought. I, I mean, if I could be honest, it was all right. It, it was all right to me. Uh, nothing spectacular. 
what but the thing about the movie critters uh the movie critics not critters but the movie critics a lot of them gave this like Uh, hell of a reviews, man. They were, oh, you got to see it, this and that, that and this. But my pops, my pops brought up a good point. My pops said, hold up. <laughs> How she do what she did to take this cat off and Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> Them cats had high machinery guns that was taking out trees when they lived, they cleared the whole forest. And this thing, so I, I said the same thing. I just think uh, you know, uh it, it was all right, but it, it to me, I really don't want to give it away because some of y'all haven't watched it yet. Come Friday, I will give you my take on it. I will give you my take on pray. So if you didn't watch it, just know I will talk about it Friday. Give you a chance. That way for some of y'all, y'all can chime in. Uh, but me and my dad is on the same page. Maybe y'all on the same page. Really when I give my perspective. So come Friday, part of the show, we'll be talking about pray. I just think it was, I don't know. I mean, I, I watched it. I don't know. It was too easy. And, and, and listen, it, it, certain things y'all gonna have to tell me. Maybe I open it up to the panel on uh, Friday, and it's just gonna be certain things that I saw in the movie that just didn't go right, you know. And we'll talk about it. We will talk about it because we'll talk about it. We let's just say that. Come Friday, this Friday on the live show, we'll get into our cord cutting talk, and then we're going to talk about this pray movie. And I'm going to see, maybe maybe y'all can change my mind. Maybe I might change some of y'all mind because there were some questionable things in this film. And I think the best part of the film, I'm just letting you know, the best part of the film was the, the fight with the bear. To me, I mean, now that part was amazing. I did. I loved. I loved it. It was the best. But other than that, man, it was all right. You know, it ain't. It ain't nothing. I'm probably going to watch. I probably, you know, when it come on television, I probably watch it if it's on. If it's not nothing else on, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't something like I. Oh man. <laughs> oh man, dude, you see that? Dude, did you see? No. Nah. <laughs> it was like, hold up. Cat got all this technology and some wood pieces and stuff. Get him? No, nah, I'm good. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, but. Yup, so. Yeah, the, the bear part was the best. I See, me and the bird, we on the same page. Because he, Noberto didn't care for it too much. I definitely, it was a I, it wasn't nothing like that. But the best part was the bear scene. So when y'all get to that part, y'all going to like it. You may even rewind it back and you going to see. You going to see. That was probably <laughs> the best part <laughs> to me. Gee, say yo. Are you selling shoes? Nah. I'm not selling, but I plan on wearing them <laughs> one of these days, right? <laughs> uh, no, I'm not selling them. But hopefully, hopefully you like this. You know, hopefully you like it so far. I'm going to rock these boys, though. Woo. I can't wait to get these boys. This this probably gonna be an October, you know, wear right here. Yeah, I'm probably gonna rock these right here. I love mid ones. That's one thing I can say. I love mid ones. I will rock some mid ones all day. I got some. I got a few like uh, 
high ones, but mids are like my favorite ones so far. And I haven't even, I think I only rocked the one, two, three, four. I only rocked four shoes. Probably, matter of fact, on this whole shelf, one, two, three, four. Never wore anything over here. Never wore anything. I never wore none of this. I never wore, oh, no, I, I did rock these. I don't had these for a little bit over a year, though. I don't had these right here. These bad boys right here. Yeah. yeah I, got, I don't had these for probably about going on about two years. I don't had them. So, well, uh, so, bro, say, yo, I need to ask you, what was that program you mentioned? For Apple TV 4K. I pulled mine out of the gadget closet uh, for an acquaintance. Um, the one uh, was called Infuse. If we're talking about the same thing. Infuse. Yep, Infuse. That's I-N-F-U-S-E. Infuse. So, but other than that, and then on this side right here, on this side right here, these are all my LeBrons. And these LeBrons right here, these right here, these the ones that actually glow in the dark right here. And then at the bottom, all of this glow. And I don't, I think I only wore these one time. Yeah, I only wore these one time. I don't had these for about, almost two years as well so plenty of shoes and stuff like that and then i ain't wore these yet these are the lebron witness right here these look good on the feet i'll tell you that now so got a few of them up there i just got to order another shelf and then y'all will see y'all will probably see everything i changed the camera angle and everything uh. <laughs> Might be a couple more to get added very, very soon. I tell you that. It can't go wrong with these. I ain't even listen. I don't even know if I'm gonna wear these or not. Might just keep them. Crispy boys right here. That's them Yeezys right there. Them boys so bright white. You can't even see them. They so bright and white. Yeah, never warm. So let me wrap these boys. I got to wrap them up. <laughs> got to put them back in. I ain't warm. The three fifties. I caught them at a finish line. Finish line. So I got them. So. So, what up, though, Jimmy? What's good? What's good? Hey, listen, I'm going to be down here. Look, this is all I do. So, bro, I come down here, right? I go over there and choose a fit. Like, I got clothes literally in the bag. Let me show you. Let me show you before I let you go. So, bro, you, you know how I get down. Hold up. You see, I had to get the burgundy and white Detroit hat, right? Check it out. 
So I'm going to rock these. This is maroon right here. This one right here is maroon and white. They go together, as you see, right? They got a little glare, but they both go together. So, right? You see where I'm going with this? See where I'm going with this? <laughs> and then I just go ahead and cap it off. So. All right. So that's how your boy get down. I look. I I get him. Oh, and I got shoot, I got another one in here. So check that out, right? So again, that goes with that, right? All right. You see it, right? All right. My head is in is on the other side. So got the little paper, the little yellow. <laughs> now you got an outfit. <laughs> now you got an outfit. All right? So that's how I, oh man, so bro. I'm telling you, man. Sometimes you just gotta do what you do and then go from there. But yeah, that's just a little something, man. That. And so when I see something, I pick it up. I mean, look, I done had this all what? At the the end of the spring, and I just get them and then hopefully I find some shoes the same color. So so you say Dale better not do no crime. <laughs> Definitely, definitely, definitely. So, yeah, so that's how I get down. That's how I get down and just go from there. That way when we step out, you know, but these right here, I just can't. Oh, oh, man. I'm trying to think. I think I got a hat. I can't find my hat though, soul bro. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, soul bro, hold up. I think I know what I've been looking for the hat. Hold up. Yeah. Man, do you know I forget where I even put this hat? So, it's already about to go down. Only thing I'm mad about, because I could not, and I repeat, I could not find a Detroit hat. So, I said, forget it. I'll go with the O's right now. I said, I'll go with the O's and, and just make it work. All right? make it work and so that's what i do you know i sit back and get something and 
Man, all this time, this been up in my book bag. All this time. So, absolutely. So, definitely. Definitely. Um, just hooking it up. Just get, Just doing my thing. Show enough over here. Show enough. I know I said happy birthday. What up, Jimmy? I think I said what up, though, Jimmy? Hey. Oh, that's that. That's that. That's that, that's, that's that collab, man. That's that collab. <laughs> Help me say, I see, uh, I see fly big homies. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, man. But I just be seeing stuff. I be like, hey, my little brother told me, he say, man, sometimes you just got to catch that stuff on sale. You may not wear it for six, seven months, maybe a year. But it's going to be a time where it's going to come handy, and that's what I do. So. But, guys, check it out. Been going almost two hours. I'm hungry. I'm going to go up here and grab me something to eat and then find me something to watch on this television. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Y'all make sure y'all stay safe. Continue. If you didn't watch them two videos from yesterday, watch them two videos and go from there, guys. I'm telling you, it's, it'll be a uh, – it'll be it'll – be, very, very nice that you watch it really for people who want to take their 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 streaming to another level, right? Really when it comes to your own library. But this could be something that huh, I ain't gonna say that. That's I don't I have to see. I have to check something out first before I do that. So but I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Getting ready to get up out of here, signing out because I'm hungry. Y'all be good. Be safe. Super Dale, guys. I'm signing out this joint. Talk to y'all later, guys. Peace. Don't forget to hit that smack, that thumbs up either, too. If you want consultation, check on my email right there, guys. Talk to you later. I'm out. Oh, oh, oh.